Most of the time when we think about carnivores, we think of lions and tigers, bears, alligators, or even humans. But what most of us don't think of is plants. In fact, there's at least 44 different types of meat-eating plants out there, and more are being discovered every day. But today we're going to be focusing on 10 of the wildest carnivorous plants currently on Earth. Number 10. Tropical Pitcher Plant the tropical pitcher plant, also known as Nepenthes, is one of the 170 different types of pitcher plants that make up some of the largest carnivorous plants in the world. The giant tropical pitcher can be found in a range of places including South China, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Madagascar, Seychelles, Australia, New Caledonia, and northward to India, and Sri Lanka. Sometimes called a monkey calf, these plants which can reach 15 meters in height are often used as a water source by monkeys who benefit from water buildup in the plant's pitchers. While local monkeys benefit from the plant, many smaller creatures wind up falling prey to it. In fact, the Nepenthes is intricately designed to capture unsuspecting insects and even small vertebrates. The pitcher spends periods preparing to feed, and during these times the top stays closed and the pitcher is focused on creative digestive fluids. As long as the pitcher is closed, these fluids are entirely sterile. Once the pitcher opens, the plant produces a sweet nectar that acts as bait for the pitcher's prey, which includes ants, spiders, scorpions, centipedes, snails, frogs, and sometimes even rats. It captures its prey by luring them into the pitcher before slippery secretions cause them to fall in. Once inside, prey is dissolved by digestive fluids and absorbed by the plant for nutrition. That sounds like a horribly unpleasant way to go. Number 9. Cobra Lily Like many other carnivorous plants, the Cobra Lily grows best in places with very few nutrients in the native soil and poor access to other means of sustenance. These conditions are most commonly believed to lead to carnivorous tendencies in plants. Despite its name, the Cobra Lily isn't technically a lily and it certainly isn't a cobra. It gets its name from its snake-like appearance and the similarities don't stop there. Much like snakes, the Cobra Lily prefers its food living. Unlike a real snake, however, this carnivorous creature can't move at high speeds and must rely on some rather ingenious tactics instead. In order to capture their prey, the cobra lily uses a combination of directional hairs and lubricating secretions in order to cause insects to slip into the plant. Once inside, the prey can no longer see the tiny exit hole, but instead they see a number of false openings. The trapped insect will exhaust itself trying to exit through the false openings. Once exhausted, the insect will fall into the bottom of the trap and be broken down by digestive fluids. Number 8. Trephiophyllum This hard-to-pronounce plant is native to the Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. Unlike previous entries on our list, this plant doesn't utilize a pitcher shape to trap prey. In fact, there is very little subtle or sneaky about this massive plant. Trephophyllum has three distinct stages of life, each with its own unique leaf shape. But the various looks of this plant is far from its most distinguished feature. In fact, the first thing you'll probably notice about this stunning plant is its phenomenal size. The Trifophyllium can boast long twinning stems that are only 4 inches wide but nearly 165 feet long. These staggering measurements make it the largest known carnivorous plant in the world, and the seeds they produce are pretty impressive too. They are bright red, disc-shaped, and measured nearly 3 inches long in diameter. Very little is still known about these giant plants, and scientists are still trying to determine exactly what they prefer to eat. But even though they could probably trap a human, they seem to eat mainly insects that are smaller than typical botflies. Number 7. Portuguese Sundew The Portuguese Sundew has a similar leaf structure to the adult Trypophyllium, but are much smaller growing to only 20 to 40 centimeters. It attracts insects by secreting a sweet scent. Once a prey insect lands on a leaf, a sticky mucilage is secreted and quickly traps them. The more the insect struggles, the more is secreted, and the more ensnared they become. They eventually succumb to exhaustion or suffocation. The plant then releases enzymes which dissolve the insect into a nutrient-rich fluid which is absorbed by the plant. It should also be noted that when it's not melting corpses for dinner, the Portuguese sundew produces a beautiful yellow flower that you wouldn't typically associate with a carnivorous plant like that. Ah oh man, talking about giving you flowers in one hand and then stabbing you with the other, am I right? Number 6. Roradula The Roradula has a slightly different way of hunting prey than some of the other entries on our list. In fact, the Roradula sort of outsources the duty of digesting. This plant is most common in the Western Cape province of South Africa and are sometimes called a dew stick or flybush. First, the plant waits for an insect to land on one of its leaves, then it becomes partially trapped in sticky hairs. 
As the insect tries to struggle, it comes into contact with smaller, stickier hairs that make escape nearly impossible. This works for the smaller insects that the Aurora Duel wants to capture, but one insect that is immune to the sticky secretions is the Pomeridia. This insect is able to move effortlessly through the sticky hairs of the Aurora Dula. In fact, the Pomeridia can only be found living on these plants. This is because once the Aurora Dula captures an insect, the Pomeridia go into full scavenger mode and race to the detained prey. They consume the insect and then defecate on the leaves of the Aurora Dula, which absorbs all of its nutrients from the fecal matter. The relationship between the Pomeridia and the Aurora Dula is a vivid example of the incredible ways of nature, if a little disgusting. Number 5. The Corkscrew Plant This plant is a little bit different than some of the other entries on our list. Rather than surviving in drier, nutrient-starved areas, the corkscrew plant thrives in wet terrestrial and semi-aquatic environments throughout South America, Central America, and Africa. These plants don't technically have roots. Instead, they have highly modified underground leaves that lure, trap, and digest minute microfauna like protozoans. The lured organism enters the leaf through a small one-way hole. Once inside, a series of fibers make it impossible for the prey to move any direction but up. While inside the leaf, the organism is broken down by digestive fluids and absorbed by the plant. This very unique, if not kind of disturbing, method of trapping prey below the surface has made this plant particularly difficult to study, and even though it was first discovered in 1833, experts were unable to confirm the corkscrew's carnivory until 1998. Number 4. The Water Wheel Plant Another carnivore that prefers water, hence the name, this plant captures small aquatic invertebrates with a rapid moving clamp action. This action is so rapid, in fact, that the clamp can slam shut in 0.1 to 0.2 seconds. This means that most prey stand has no chance of getting away. Once an insect is trapped inside, the plants begin releasing digestive fluids that break down the body. The water wheel plant does all the while not even being anchored to the ground. In fact, the water wheel floats freely in the water, trolling for prey throughout many parts of Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. By not being tied down, the water wheel plant is able to distribute itself in a unique way. Unlike plants that spread their seeds over thousands of miles, the water wheel attached to the feet of water birds and goes for a ride to new habitats where it can spread and feed. Despite this ingenious method of distribution, there is only one variety of water wheel plant that hasn't gone extinct. And even that is listed as threatened in the wild. These rare and awesome plants are frequently kept by enthusiasts, so if you're up to the challenge, you could keep one in your very own home. Number 3. The Trigger Plant Get ready to be triggered, no pun intended, because this next entry is truly something unique. Like everything on today's list, the trigger plant, also called the Stilidium, is a carnivorous plant. However, it is notable for more than its meaty diet. In fact, its most curious quality is the way in which it reproduces. When it comes to pollination, the trigger plant is more than happy to make the first move. The unique process goes like this. The plant contains both the male and female reproductive organs and material. It's also very sensitive to touch. This means that when a pollinating insect lands on it, the pressure triggers a physiological change that sends a column shooting out rapidly in the direction of the insect. When it's struck by the column, the insect is stunned, unharmed, and most importantly, covered in pollen which it carries with it to the next plant. This entire reaction takes place in as little as 15 milliseconds, but varies depending on the temperature. In colder conditions, this reaction might take place considerably slower. For being a pollinating ninja, the trigger plant takes the number 3 spot on today's list. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And my pick for the day is probably one of the biggest cultural icons on this list, but there may be a number of things you don't actually know about it. Number 2. The Venus Flytrap I'm sure you figured this was coming up sooner or later. Native to the east coast of the United States, the Venus Flytrap is generally the first plant to come to mind when people talk about carnivorous plants. As the name would imply, this meat-eating plant loves flying insects, but it also enjoys the odd spider, beetle, or grasshopper. The Venus flytrap is actually one of the most efficient plants on today's list because it won't simply snap shut on any old prey. No, 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 this high-class plant has some good standards to it. And like many carnivorous plants, the flytrap is triggered by initial contact from prey. However, it will not close completely unless another point of contact is triggered within 20 seconds. This tactic means that this plant has a pretty high rate of capture for its meals. We've seen some pretty amazing carnivorous plants today. Some of you've heard of and some of you probably haven't. But now it's time for our number one plant.
I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Brokinia Reducta the number one entry on today's list wasn't even a confirmed carnivore until 2005, and to this day very little is understood about them. What we do know is it's something out of a sci-fi movie, however. The first thing to know about these resilient plants is that they can grow on almost any type of surface, while other entries on our list rely on water or soil. The Burkinia reducta has literally been spotted growing around rocks by literally using their roots as anchors and simply hanging on. Literally. The next observation you might make about this plant is in its leaves, which are coated with loose waxy scales. These serve to reflect the sun's UV light in order to attract insects. As a prey insect gets closer, they are further attracted by a sweet nectar produced by the Brachinia reducta. Once their prey lands, an extra slippery surface causes them to fall into a water-filled pitcher trap where they drown. Next, the pitcher is flooded with a bacteria that breaks down the corpse, which is then absorbed by the plant. What was your favorite carnivorous plant on the day's list? Have you ever seen any of them in person? Let us know in the comment section down below. Have a good day everybody and I'll see you next time.